In this video, we'll show you how to set up sectionals with the StealthTech Sound Plus Charge. When your shipment arrives, you'll notice that at least four of the boxes feature gray artwork. These are your products included with StealthTech Sound Plus Charge. Inside these boxes is everything you need for a standard setup, including audio cables, power cables, brackets, and thumb screws. Open your subwoofer box first to find the setup guide. Before getting started, you'll want to determine the layout of your sectional's configuration and the location of your Sound Plus Charge products. Reference the Planning Your Layout section of the setup guide for complete details. Packed inside of your seat frame are the cushion, back pillow, and the secret ingredients to connect your sectionals. Press in on the teal rods and turn them to release. Remove the cushion and back pillow from the seat frame and set them off to the side. Remove the secret ingredients box from the seat frame. Next, with each side insert, you'll find your clamp and feet in the clamp hole and the shoe packed inside the bottom of the insert. For your Sound Plus Charge sides, you'll notice markings on them to help you identify which inserts are which. If you're using the optional satellite sides, keep the shoe box separate. It contains the necessary audio cable. Now it's time to put on your covers. Each seat cover comes with three pieces, a seat frame cover, a cushion cover, and a back pillow cover. Take the seat frame cover and align the seams with the edges of the seat frame. Pull the cover down and ensure the seams are still aligned. Flip the seat frame over, pull the corners of the cover up so the cover is tight and attach the Velcro. Then move on to the seat cushion. Ensure the zipper on the cover and the cushion are facing the same direction. Put one end of the cushion into the arched end of the cover. Bend the cushion so the remaining corners fit inside the cover. Zip it up. Now for the back pillows. Put one corner of the back pillow insert inside the cover. Press the opposite corner inside and slide the insert in. Zip the cover closed. For your regular and your Sound Plus Charge sides, covering them is the same. Align the seams of the cover with the edges of the insert. Ensure the hole in the cover is on the correct side and slide the cover down completely. Flip the insert over, pull the corners of the cover up so they're tight, and attach the Velcro. For your Sound Plus Charge sides, there is a color-coded label inside the clamp hole, as well as on the bottom, to help you identify them. Place the center channel on the surface in front of your TV. If you prefer to wall mount your center channel, please reference your setup guide for complete instructions. Additional tools will be necessary. HDMI is the recommended method for connecting your TV to the center channel. Using the provided HDMI cable, connect one end to the HDMI ARC port on your TV and the other to the HDMI ARC port on the center channel. If the HDMI ARC port isn't labeled on your TV, consult your TV's manual. You have the option to use the provided optical cable to connect the TV to the center channel instead, although you may have to turn your TV volume down or adjust some of your TV settings. Refer to your TV manual for help. Plug the power cable into the back of the center channel and then into a wall outlet. Press the power button on the center channel to turn it on. To pair your remote to the center channel, press the volume up and down buttons simultaneously simultaneously for five seconds. The red LED on the remote will blink for two seconds, then shut off. Now, adjust the volume using your remote to see the LEDs on the center channel changing. This verifies a successful pairing. With the speaker facing up, align the markings on the brackets with the same markings on the subwoofer housing. Use the provided thumb screws to attach the brackets. Place one of your covered seat frames on the ground upside down. Set the subwoofer inside the seat frame. Make sure the speaker of the subwoofer is facing up and that the subwoofer housing is flush to the opening of the seat frame. Align the holes on the subwoofer brackets with the holes in the corners of the seat frame. Place a foot through one of the holes and screw it in halfway. Take the next foot and in the hole diagonally across from the first, screw it in halfway as well. 
screw in the two remaining feet halfway. Check the alignment of the subwoofer within the seat frame and tighten all four feet down, making sure not to over tighten. When complete, the subwoofer should be flush to the opening. Plug each audio cable into the corresponding color-coded port on the subwoofer. Once connected, run your red audio cables underneath the subwoofer bracket heading towards the right side of your setup. Keep in mind, this cable will be going to the right from the perspective of sitting on your couch. Next, run the white audio cable under the subwoofer bracket and towards the left side of your setup. If you're connecting satellite sides, use the included blue audio cables, connect them to the corresponding ports on the subwoofer, and run them under the subwoofer bracket towards the final location. Remember, right and left is determined from the perspective of sitting on your couch. Connect the power cable to the AC adapter, then connect the cable to the subwoofer and plug it into a nearby outlet. On the subwoofer, switch the power button to ON and the teal LED will begin to blink, indicating it's in pairing mode. Make sure the center channel is on, then press and hold the input and the plus buttons simultaneously for 3 seconds. One LED on the front of the center channel will flash as it searches for the subwoofer. Once connected, you'll hear a water drop tone and all LEDs will turn off. It may take up to 10 seconds for pairing to be complete. Now that the subwoofer and center channel are paired, grab the long side of the seat frame and flip it up and over towards the back of your setup. This will help prevent the wires from getting crossed or tangled. If you're setting this seat into a deep configuration, turn the seat 90 degrees, ensure the cables are neatly running in the correct directions, then flip the seat up and towards the back of your setup. Begin building your sectional setup, starting with the shoes. Connect the seats to create your desired configuration, being careful not to pinch any of the wires. Add all of your non-Stealth Tech sides to the configuration, but do not clamp them in place quite yet. Place each of your sound plus charge sides, or satellite sides, near their final location, but do not attach them to the rest of your setup. With the sound plus charge side near its final location, flip the insert over so you can see the audio port on the bottom. Ensure that the cable you ran to this location matches the color of the tag on the insert and connect the audio cable. You should hear a click when it's connected properly. Repeat this for all of your sound plus charge sides. Before installing each side, tuck any access wire under the seat frame, being careful not to leave the wire where it could be pinched by the side or the shoe. Place the side in the shoe and tuck any additional wire under the couch. Now use the teal clamps to secure all of the sides, including the sound plus charge sides in your configuration. Add all of your cushions and back pillows to complete the setup of your sectionals. Ensure that your center channel is on, then press the input button to select the Bluetooth input or press the Bluetooth button on the Lovesack Stealth Tech remote. The LEDs will begin to blink, indicating the center channel is in pairing mode. On your smartphone, open the Bluetooth settings and connect to Stealth Tech Sound Plus Charge. Once connected, test to make sure your Sound Plus Charge is working by playing music from your smartphone. On your smartphone, download the Lovesack Stealth Tech app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. You can also scan the QR code in your setup guide. Follow the prompts inside the app to complete your setup. This will include tuning the system to your sectionals configuration as well as your fabric category, type, and color. You'll also be able to select from Harman Kardon designed sound modes and customize your experience. Now that everything is set up, to use the wireless charger, simply place your compatible device on the front part of your Sound Plus charge side. Your device should automatically begin charging, although sometimes it may take a moment before charging, or you may have to adjust the positioning for your specific device. That's it! All that's left to do is sit back and enjoy truly immersive sound like never before.